Hey everyone, I am Price, and today I am going to explain to you how to create a Payoneer business account on LLC. Stick around until the end and I will show you the simple steps to easily create your Payoneer business account for your company. First of all, if you want to create a business bank account with Payoneer, your company needs to be registered in any country. Start by clicking the register button given in your top right corner. So if your company is registered in a country like the UK or the US, you can start creating a business account directly. Next, you will be presented with multiple options, asking if you are a freelancer, an online seller, an affiliate marketer, a wholesale trader, or an individual. Choose the option that suits you best and proceed with your application. Let me explain step by step. If you are a freelancer, you will go to the freelancer section. Similarly, for online sellers, there is a section for that. After selecting the option that describes you, proceed with your application. Next, choose the right Payoneer account type for your business needs. You are a freelancer, and for this type of requirement, needing a bank account, international clients must make payments and receive payments. So, you can create an account if you work on platforms like Fiverr or if you are an online seller running websites, doing marketing, publishing, or wanting to promote your services on platforms like Payoneer, you have two options. Either go to the freelancer section where you proceed with the application if you are a freelancer or go to the online seller section if you run online platforms and want to receive payments from there. In both cases, proceed with the application based on your choice. In the case of digital or individual, multiple options will appear for you to choose from, such as sending payments to family members or friends. You can select the option that suits you and proceed. Next, you will need to select the total amount of monthly international payment in all cases. After that, click on the register button to proceed further. The process may involve connecting with third-party platforms, and a page will open accordingly, guiding you through the necessary steps. The sign-up process starts by asking you whether you want to create an individual account or a business account. If your company hasn't started yet, you can create an individual account. And if your company has started and you want to create a business bank account, you will handle it with the company. Once you have chosen the company, remember that here you need to provide details about your company such as its name and whether it is a limited company like ABC Limited or if you are doing business as X and S. This information is essential for your business entry. You can write your details here. Otherwise, it is optional. The registered legal entity of your business, whether it is a limited company like LTD in the UK, should be mentioned here. So ahead and fill in in the complete details on this page. If you have created a website, it is great because the verification process is easy on every platform when you have a website. Paste it here for verification. If you are on a tight budget and don't want to create a website, it is optional. You can skip it. Visit the details section for more information. They will ask about the name of the director of your company. Then, you will need to provide his last name and email. After that, you will enter the date of birth and the code given below and click on Next. After clicking next, you will be taken to the contacts details page. In the contacts details page, you need to provide the complete business address of the company. If you had selected LAC before, you need to select United States of America here. After that, choose your state, write the city, and then write the zip code. If your company's registered agent address is different from the above, you will also provide that address here. Then, you will write your mobile number below the address. After writing the mobile number, click on the send button next to the verification code. Then, enter the verification code and click next. After that, enter your password. They have specified that the password should have at least 7 characters. It should have one Latin word and one numeric. So here I am selecting a password. After selecting the password, you will re-enter the password here. In the security questions, you need to select any security question. Write its answer and remember to make it related to your story so that if they ever ask for verification in the future, you can tell them. So, it is best if you think of a unique answer for every security question. After this, you guys need to provide the company ID. Here, what you will do is, if it is, if it is the United States of America, you will have an employer identification number when your company is formed. When a company is registered, it gets an employer identification number. Again, if you have created it yourself, you will have it as you have been provided with it when you created it or when we created it. We provided it separately in our delivery file or if your identification number is given by someone else. 
like how it is when you make a company through them. Then they will provide you with your identification number and you will mention it here. Also, add date of company formation. Next, you will need to add the business bank details for withdrawal. So go ahead and fill in details like bank country, currency, bank name, account holder name, IBAN, and national tax number. After a bank verification, your payer near account will be created that you can use for international payments. On that note, that will be it for this video. I hope you guys got some value. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.